Hey there, this is Chad with Zombified Shark. Welcome to episode 16 of our Thor walkthrough. Uh, we are talking about the filter and amp envelopes. We've touched on these briefly on uh, prior episodes, and um, we're just going to go over them a little bit more thorough. There's not a whole lot to cover, so it'll be quick. Um, so if, if you're not familiar, then uh, your filter and amp envelope, here they are. And um, they're pretty important. So right now I've got just basic patch running. Uh, have analog oscillator. It's a sawtooth, so we have lots of harmonics that this filter here can affect. And then on my actual envelope, I have it set so you'll hear it. Uh, pretty important here. If you're gonna, if you want to hear your filter envelope, then you have to actually have the envelope amount turned on because if you don't have that on so so that's what i have currently if it's all if, if i have that set to zero versus that so pretty significant difference there between the two uh so something to be aware of um then also you know if your your resonance you know if you uh yeah. wow you yeah. I, hopefully you know what the resonance is at this point, but you know just be aware that if your resonance is all the way down, you may not get exactly the effect you're looking for. Um, it's almost more of just a volume effect than it is a filter effect. Um, but there you can actually hear that the filter sweep with the extra cue added to the uh, to to the envelope. So gate trigger if you're getting fancy and you're trying to trigger stuff with different devices um, and control things through external sources, then that's the, that's the occasion in which you're going to turn off the gate trigger. Um, but the rest of the time, just leave it on. It's, you don't have to worry about messing with it. So, um, ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. And this isn't really an occasion to go through what exact, you know, to explain an ADSR envelope, but there's plenty of things you can find uh, if you don't know what that is and how it works. Um, and then, of course, most importantly, your amp envelope. Early on, I can't tell you the number of times that I was like, why isn't this making the sound I want? And it was because my amp envelope was set up totally wrong or something was messed up with it. And I kept changing other things, thinking it was going to affect it. Um, so let's uh, some things to be, you know, number one, be aware that it exists. Number two, gate trigger, same as a filter envelope. If you're not triggering your device through something else, just leave the gate trigger on. Um, and, you know, the rest of it is just um, be aware of how this actually works uh you know if you're making if you're making drums then you're usually going to have your sustain off and um and you have a fast attack and you know relatively shortish decay depending on the type of thing you're trying to make so um if you're making pads ambient whatevs um, then usually it's a longer attack. Sustain tends to be higher, and it has a longer release a lot of times. Maybe more like this. And the same goes for your uh, filter envelope. So now I think we're probably ready for uh, an ambient track there. And, uh, you know, and of course you can route all this stuff differently. Um, so you can route your amp envelope to your shaper. Uh, so, or you can route it to your delay wet mix. You know, this, like, this is, this is what, where Thor's power is, is these are, while they control this, they also can control many other things. So... Here I've got a patch I made where filter gate pattern trigger is the name of the uh, combi, and um, it is the it's triggered by this matrix, 
Um, so instead of the, well, the filter gates triggered by the matrix, I should say. Um, so, um, and you can play with this one on your own a little bit, but it's, this is an example of a time that you could turn off that gate trigger uh, and then follow up to that one. So here I've got both the filter and the amp. Uh, this is either routing CV1 in and two. Uh, there's the back. Um, one and two there. So one of them is controlling the filter. One of them is controlling the, uh, the amp. <laughs> So we've got those two turned off right there. Um, so the um, the the envelope still applies, but the trigger doesn't apply because I'm triggering them with the matrix. So that's something to play with and maybe get a little bit better idea of uh, uh, of how how this works if if you're having difficulty with the concept. So like and subscribe, uh, leave me comments if, you, if I didn't cover something, if you have any questions. Uh, the uh, next episode, we're going to talk about the mod envelope, um, and which is where really routing starts to matter using this uh, modulation matrix. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.